time for another brand new episode of Radio Walford here on Sprecher, and it's a jazzy episode. This is Radio Walford, hosted by Tom Gardiner. <laughs> Folks, and welcome to the penultimate episode, that's right, the penultimate episode of Radio Walford. That's right, episode number 14 out of 15, and what a double bill of episodes we've got for you today. That's right, of course, earlier this week we told you that this Sunday, that's today, we would have a double bill of Radio Walford. But this meant that we would have two episodes on the same day, so... um Yes, we've got quite an action-packed uh, series on Arlene in store for you in half an hour. Well, in the next half hour episode, of course, and then um, we have quite a lot for you, and that includes, of course, us going back 90s style in this episode, so let's focus on this episode first, and what's to come. In this jazzy episode, we will be looking at some of the greatest moments from 90s style EastEnders. Now, that's right, this includes things like Sharon Gate, or Kathy's Exit, or all those brilliant exits, and everything from the 90s. Now you see, I'm not from 90s style EastEnders, but, um, well I was born in the 90s, but I didn't really watch it back then, I only started watching it from 2000. But of course, there is so much drama in the 90s that we must reveal, and must share with you, that I thought I would be the one to do it. Of course, do you remember the one moment when Grant Mitchell hit David Wicks? Hmm? Anything? Any? Ring any bells? No? Well, we'll be telling you some of the greatest moments from 90s EastEnders if you haven't already seen them or if you just don't really go for 90s and prefer 80s or prefer latest EastEnders episodes. So, stay tuned to Radio Walford. So, to kick off this episode, I had to do the one storyline in the 90s episodes of EastEnders that really rocked the square, and that, of course, was Sharon Gates, of course, when Grant Mitchell found out that his own brother slept and had an affair with Sharon. Of course, now, this happened in 1994, and, he, and it reached its climax, the storyline, on the 24th of October, 19. 19- and of course this attracted 25.3 million viewers. The plot was written by EastEnders script writer Tony Jordan, and in the storyline Sharon Mitchell back then, of course known back then, confesses on tape that she had done stuff with her husband's brother Phil, that would be Grant being the husband, and the truth comes out in the middle of the Queen Victoria pub. Sharon's husband Grant attacks his brother and Phil was lucky to survive. And here is the moment when this happened. Man, you slept with him, remember? I thought it was different. Why? He just was. Oh, I didn't know that the first time. In one minute I was looking at him, in the next, ripping each other's clothes off. And after? Well, it was like Phil was a nice side of Grant. Hmm. He liked the other stuff. I think that's why I fell in love with him. I even thought things would work out once. You know, when Grant was in prison and me and Phil were together all the time. Mm. Phil must have had some front. Hey? Sleeping with his brother's wife in the same place. No, Joe, I don't think I've ever thought of it that way. Mm. What about now? It's definitely finished? Yeah. You sure? Mm. It wasn't. I mean, there was all that stuff over the engagement and that one. I, I just wanted to curl up and die, but that's past now. What about when you went to see him at the flat a couple of weeks ago when Kathy was out? Grant, please. It's all right. I know you didn't go over there just to wish him good luck. No, I wanted to see if there was anything still there. Was there? Well, I'd only been there five minutes and we're all over each other again just like the first time. Yes. Of course, you can find the full version of that big revelation on YouTube, and I think we will have a link in the description after this episode airs, where you can watch that. Um, but that was the moment when Grant had found the tape, which Sharon confessed she had an affair with Phil, to Michelle, 
and basically Grant uh, got really mad and it all got worse and it tended, it seems to have uh, escalated into this. Anyway, you can have her now if that's what you want. I don't want anything to do with her. Yeah. Do what? Throw your whole life away just because of this. I'm not throwing my life away. You took it from me. We can talk it out. We've always worked things out before, haven't we? Phil, you slept with Sharon. I had two things in my life that meant anything, you and her. You've still got us both. But she loves you and I love you. I don't think you know what the word means. You want to know what love is? I'll tell you what love is. Love is me not slamming your face through that wall. It's me not ripping down a brick, brick by brick while she's still in it. That's my love, brother. Well, then do that. If that's what it takes for us to sort this out, just do it. Like that, would you? My little brother to take the guilt away from you. I don't want to lose you. You've already done that. You did that the minute you stood over my wife in my bedroom. That's not how it was, is it? No. No, well, you tell me how it was, because I've asked you enough times. Away. Come on over with! Of course, I think Sharon Gate was one of the best storylines in the 90s. Um, so it all began when Sharon becomes part of the Mitchell family when she marries Grant in December 1991. But months later, the couple begin rowing. Grant wants a wife who behaves like one and Sharon refuses to comply. He also wants a baby, but Sharon prefers to concentrate on making the Queen Vic a success. During a major row in 1992, in July, Sharon confesses that she has carried on taking the contraceptive pills because she doesn't want to have a baby with Grant. He loses his temper and after smashing up the pub, he disappears for a few weeks, leaving Phil to comfort a devastated Sharon. Sharon begins to wonder if she has married the wrong brother. Grant, re Grant returns and despite promises to try harder, he immediately returns to his old ways, staying out with his friends all night and leaving Phil to, to help Sharon at the pub in his place. Grant's thuggish behaviour only brings Sharon and, uh, Sharon and Phil closer together. Sharon confides in Phil and, wa and one night they both kiss, and this eventually leads to Phil and Sharon beginning their affair. However, Sharon cannot bring herself to leave Grant, and upon his return she chooses him rather than Phil. So this storyline came to a climax on October 1994. Sharon put her affair with Phil behind her and she and Grant are even thinking about starting a family. Michelle's boyfriend Geoff Barnes has an idea about interviewing local girls for his book about the social and economic importance of women in the East End. Sharon agrees to contribute as long as Michelle conducts the interview. During the autumn of 1994, the interview takes place while Mich with Michelle taping the conversation on a tape recorder. However, the girls forget to turn the tape recorder off after the interview finishes, and prompted by Michelle, Sharon begins to reveal the full details of her affair with Phil, leaving the incriminating evidence in the tape machine, which Grant finds. So, of course, that's one of the many great EastEnders storylines. So let's go on to two-hander episodes now in the 90s. And these, and there have been quite a few two-hander episodes, um, of course, in the past. And I believe the last one they aired for two-hander-wise was 2010? Yeah, 2010 was the last ever two-hander. Uh, but let's go to a two-hander which aired in 1994, which was Grant and Phil. And, of course, it featured them... Um, when Grant discovered that Phil had slept with his wife, Grant had beaten Phil so badly that he was hospitalised with a dangerous blood clot to the brain. Phil was rushed into surgery and the clot was removed. As Grant sat with his brother, the two made a pact and promised that they would never let a woman come between them again. So that was quite a good two-hander episode. And of course, another two-hander episode was the Pat and Peggy one, which aired on the 27th of October, 1998. This episode featured Pat Evans and Peggy, Peggy, Peggy Mitchell. Peggy Mitchell. Peggy was on the warpath after become, being told about a fabricated affair between her fiancé, Frank, and his ex-wife, Pat. However, Pat had other concerns. Her husband, Roy, had driven off like a suicidal maniac, nearly hitting her in the process. As Frank sped off after Roy, Pat and Peggy waited it out in the Evans house and made their feelings to each other clear. 
The Pat was in shock about Roy nearly hitting her, but convinced herself that he merely didn't see her. Peggy was not so sure and com commented that running her down was cheaper than the balls, and suggested that Roy had also found out about her affair. Pat insisted that nothing happened between her and Frank, but Peggy took a lot of convincing and they both traded insults at each other. Pat told Peggy that Frank talked about her a lot, but Peggy couldn't accept this, and when Pat left the room for a bath, Peggy began to sob. Pat eventually joined her, and Peggy accused her of still loving Frank. Pat didn't quite deny it, but said she had moved on and knows when to give up on something. Peggy was convinced that Frank had feelings for Pat, too. And what did that two-hander episode result in? Well, only this. How stupid can you get? No one wants you, Pat. Frank left you, your boys left you, and now Roy's left you. You think Frank wants you? Mutton dressed as lamb? You cow! Oh, temper, temper. Anyway, you're nothing to write home about. No wonder Roy can't do it. How dare you! You get up for me! You take back what you said, you bitch! You cow! That ending was just so funny, it just makes me laugh. How flaming well kill ya! You get up for me! You bitch! You cow! <laughs> oh, that, that's just, uh, that was just a really funny ending. Anyway, so of course that continued on from uh, then to the 29th of October 1998 when Roy and Frank had their own um, 200 episode, of course, um, occurring simultaneously to the Pat and Peggy one. This episode featured both of them characters and after Roy sped off nearly hitting Pat with his car, Frank followed him and forced him to rethink a drastic action. Uh, so that was a great episode. Um, yeah, we've had so many great episodes for the um, for for the tw uh, for the nineties episodes of EastEnders. Actually, I really wish I could. I was born a bit early, you know, just to see them all. <laughs> okay, so we now travel to an exit in nineteen ninety eight from Walford on a plane. That's right. This is the sad exit of Kathy Beale. I am so proud of you, and I know if your dad was here, he'd say the same. You and Ben are the best things that have ever happened to me in my life. Every man I've ever known counts for nothing next to you two. I love you to death. Come here. Come on. I was you going to miss your plane. All right, I'll ring you as soon as I get there. Yeah. No, don't watch me, will you? You just go. See you, mate. Have fun. <laughs> Phil, what the hell are you doing here? Where is she? She's gone through, it's too late. No, it ain't. Phil, don't do this, don't do this! I've got to talk to her. Just let her go. I mean, it's for the first time ever she's doing what she really wants to do. What are you going to do, drag her back and make her miserable again? Is that what you really want? You're never going to make her happy and you know no, it. I don't want to have to hit you here. Yes, you do, you always do. So come on, what are you waiting for? It's your answer to everything, and this is what she is finally getting away from. I mean, do you love her? I know you say you do, but do you really love her? Because if you do, you'll let her go, and just for once in your life, you'll do the decent thing. So what's it going to be? Hey, okay. Flight 710 to Amsterdam, and connecting flights to Cape Town and other <sighs> intercontinental destinations, is now boarding. So, join me after this break when we'll be looking at some more great moments from EastEnders in the 90s. And of course, we'll be giving you the latest EastEnders wrap roundup.